Hello, welcome to Switched On. Paul here with your eShop highlights for week three of November 2019. I make these videos every week, so please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when they go live. Please stay tuned until the end of the video for a look at the best new sales this week, but for new releases, this week is very much indie focused, which is nice in some ways, as we've been absolutely bombarded with huge games seemingly on a weekly basis now, and there's only so much time in the day, right? So it's going to be nice to have a few smaller size games to pick from to split your gaming time away from Pokemon, Luigi's Mansion, The Witcher, Overwatch, Dragon Quest. First up this week is a return to a classic from my childhood, and that's Bubble Bobble with this Switch exclusive Bubble Bobble for Friends, which is kind of a reboot of the original format released in 1986. The game sees you play as either of the original dinosaurs Bub and Bob, and as the title may suggest, Bubble Bobble 4 now supports up to four players at any time, though this is only for local play. Clear each of the 50 single screen levels by capturing the baddies in your bubbles before jumping on them to pop them, and remember to collect the fruit and letters that spell extend for extra bonuses. Beating the game unlocks an additional hard mode, and rather brilliantly, the full 100 level original game is also included here too. One for the hardcore arcade fans when this arrives on Tuesday the 19th. Children of Malta is another hotly anticipated roguelike pixel art indie game, of which there are many of these on the Switch, but this one looks like it could be heading into the top tier of that genre. I was delighted to get a review code for this game, as I've been eager to get my hands on it, and I was really happy how it feels to play. Something more akin to a roguelike Diablo 3, with plenty of depth. Anyways, to see my full thoughts on Children of Malta, check out my review that will be coming later in the week, and pick up the game yourself on Wednesday on the Switch. Next up is a video game based on a TV show, and neither of those I've been able to check out unfortunately, but the game is looking really nice, and it's from the great guys at Curve Digital, so I felt I really wanted to include it. The game is Narcos Rise of the Cartels, which is an action strategy game, with hints of XCOM style gameplay and third person shooting sections. One nice touch here is the option to side with the cartel or the DEA, which should give the game some decent replay value, and I may try to get hold of this one and have a little play of it on the channel. If you're a fan of the Netflix show and fancy this one, it's out on Thursday the 21st. Fans of games like Katana Zero and Dead Cells need to pay attention to Black Future 88 which arrives on Thursday the 21st. In this roguelike 2D action shooter set in 1988, you have 18 minutes to climb the procedurally generated tower, take out all the bad guys and kill the architect. Fantastic 80s stylings here, particularly the synth music. And luckily for me, it's another game I'll be able to bring you a review of later this week. Check that one out on Thursday for all my thoughts. My indie game of the week is the crazy looking Munchkin Quacked Quest, which is an action packed RPG based on the hit card game from Steve Jackson. Instead of just recreating the digital version of that card game, which to be fair does already exist, this new game on the Switch sees you traverse the dungeons from the Munchkin universe, either alone or with up to three buddies. Fight off fancy monsters, with the aim of rescuing the golden duck on each level. Looks like a great sense of humour with this one and I like the sound of the co-op play where at some point you do have to turn on your team as there can only be one winner. I'm still awaiting a review code for this one but absolutely looks like a load of fun and is out on the store tomorrow the 19th of November. Ok I'm shaking up the sales portion of the video this week and we'll run through a few of my picks to close out the episode and with that I just want to say thanks for watching, please subscribe and like the video and let me know below if you're buying any of the games featured this week. Now all you need to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the pick of this week's sales. See you later guys!